I got a, I got a leak. Better get that fixed. I know. Hi, everybody. Hi, Ping. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, welcome to Side Dish. It's me, Doug. Uh, we are Wednesday today. Amy will be gone this weekend at a conference. What kind of conference? It's the National Education Association Leadership Conference. Did you hear that? National. Because <laughs> she's fancy, and I love it. Uh, so we're going to do this live today, and then I'm going to, I don't know, I'm going to go run around in the world. We're supposed to get an atmospheric river that's supposed to dump um, like three inches of rain over the next four days which is unheard of around these parts. Um, and we just got a ton of snow. So in 1997, a very similar situation happened, and they had mass flooding, which turned a gravel pit into a marina. So who knows what's going to happen this time? Uh, hi, Andrea. Uh, hashtag teacher. Oh, are you a teacher? Are you a teacher too, uh, Pain? So uh, we're making potato leaf soup. Now, some... I told somebody I was doing this today, and they're like, you're going to put bacon in it? And I was like, no, the name of it is potato leaf soup. If you want bacon in it, make potato soup or potato chowder. I don't care. But this is, this is, this is very simple flavors. It's going to be good, though. So, um, oh, and we're going to make a, a variation of rum punch because that's what we have ingredients for. <laughs> so, um, basically. But it doesn't have chicken broth in it, so don't worry. It does not. Uh, which it's funny. I had this here, and I said, "Don't have chicken broth." And Denise acted like she was going to put it away. But uh, so let's. Uh, let, this is pretty straightforward. I don't think we'll be here the full hour, but who knows? Chaos might go south. Who knows? Every, it's always a possibility. Those are the biggest leaks I've seen. Where but did you get them? I got them at the grocery outlet. But we are not using all of this. We are only using to about here on each one. Because this, th so unlike like a green onion, um, I did get a haircut. Where have you been? Um, it's been in Hawaii. Apparently. Um, these are more woody than like a green onion or even the stock of a regular onion. So People do use that for something, right? Yeah, you can make, you know what you can make? A good vegetable stock out of it with a little bit of oh, this and go, some yeah, other yeah. stuff. So I'm going to keep those. Yeah. So I'm just cutting this down and we'll How get... are you deciding where to cut? Basically where it starts from, see how it's light here and where it starts to darken up. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to make a guess of where I think you're going to cut that. Okay, perfect. So, that was a good description. I got it right. Perfect. perfect. Um, I'm going to take this. I'm going to take the rooted end off here. Are you going to try to regrow that? I am. Why wouldn't you? Free leaks? Free leaks. I do love the grocery outlet, Fred. So just just lean into it. You got you got to love what you love. You know the the grocery outlet has been around for a long time. You didn't love it. I guess you just, you didn't know. Yeah. I or know. you have a certain opinion about it. Like it's like dented cans and open boxes. Or near expiration. No, that is the case in well, some I think things. it's gotten better because I went and called and it was, you know, a hot pocket was not a hot pocket. It was, it was all off brands and weird stuff. And gotcha. I don't know if you can hear that. But the dogs are going at it. Not that way. They're really having a having a lot loud They're wrestling. wrestling discussion over there. So I'm doing these, I'm you know, I'm not, it's not anything super like thick or thin. I'm just kind of doing it as uniform as I can. Order and Yeah. I think you should have done that first. Done what? You should have sliced it like that till you got to the to the end of the well, part of it is. Well, that's why I'm showing this because you when you have a lot of dirt in the in those leaves, so. Are you gonna rinse that? I'm gonna rinse this part. Yeah. Are you gonna rinse the ones you already cut? No, because that part is clean. The dirt hides in this part. 
So, listen. I for wants to get every squeaky. Sorry. <laughs> How is everybody? I hope your week yes, that's how it is. has been great so far. Um, we had the, the weather around these parts, something crazy. Uh, we did our we did our first D and D in twenty twenty three last night. It was so much fun. Um, Stop it! Oh, sorry, everybody. But there, um, got to tell you, making me use my teacher voice. Knock it off. I had to. Uh, kind of pivot a little bit because they killed the thing that I thought was going to take a little bit longer because three people in the group got natural 20s or one of the NPCs that was helping them and then the rest were, yeah. Um, yeah. Anyways. Our weather has been rain, snowy and uh, we're going to get a bunch of rain and yeah. Much more than we would normally get. Your voice works on that. Apparently. I fell down today. She did. She I slid on the ice. Very unhappy about that. At my work. It was terrible. I hate my building. Every classroom opens to the outside, and you have to walk outside to get between classrooms, and it's garbage, and I hate it. And I fell down. So stupid design for a place that snow and children live as well because those monsters just run around with it. no regard for anything <laughs> so i want to speak of little monsters that are not monsters but our billy trees have a their son liam has no fear of anything he is a boy's boy and the best part about it is he was here last night while we were playing D, &D with them and um he would just like roll out of the room where they were watching like a show or whatever like that. Like he owned the place. What you... Yeah. Do I want to go to Nashville? I've never been to Nashville before. When is, when is it? I might want to go to Nashville. I don't. I've don't. never been to Tennessee. Honey, you're the only ten I see. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm sorry I interrupted you about Liam. But he just uh, I, just, around. I just love it because he literally just cruises out and then he goes to the, he loves going to the pantry, going in it and just grabbing something. At oh, one right. point he grabbed um, cornmeal and thought that that was going to be a thing. And then when he got it, the, and they were just letting him explore and I was like, he can, whatever. And then eventually he rolled out with uh, peanut butter checks and was like, oh, there you go. He was like, jackpot. Can finish this up before I continue here. Now I know this looks like a lot, but it is one of the main ingredients in the soup. So they're delicious. They are delicious. And I am checking my calendar. June. I'm still in work. What's the June what? Seventh through the tenth. Oh. Okay, so now we need two tablespoons of butter. We're going to start the potato. The, we're going to peel the potatoes after this, but we need to get all this out of the way. Now, you just dropped some in on the ground. Oh, what? You should see it. It looks, <laughs> it looks like a leak graveyard down there. <laughs> so. That looks about two tablespoons. Or three. Whatever. Yeah, there's a lot down here. Let me go ahead and uh, get that while I'm down waiting. Seriously, I don't know why the dogs, they, up until this, they were laying on the ground, sleeping. Because the minute this show yeah. starts, and they have to act a fool. They do. Um, over here. What else we got going on? I was going to say. I have my new employee started this week, and it's been great so far, which is always a pleasure. So, um, makes me less stressed. Let's put it that way. That's for sure. Like you less stressed. Everybody likes Doug less stressed. Plus, I'm easing into cruise Doug mentality here, 
and I don't need any extra stress. And if you think I'm awesome now, you should meet Chris Doug. He's super awesome. Isn't that right, Amy? Cruz Amy is pretty awesome. Too. Yeah, no, I'm not saying she's not, but I become just like nothing. A duck, like a water. I'm very duck. aloof. Yes, and I love being aloof. I'm gonna take the moment to break these up a little bit. Oh yeah, that that's really fun tactile. -y. Oh man. Uh, ooh, starting to get me. I really should have started this earlier, but you know. Are you surprised you don't put up the table? Well, I think part of it is that you're going to cook the potatoes for only like two to three minutes to sort of like brown them up, and then you pour chicken broth in there, and, and that cooks it in the broth. The most potatoes get cooked in the broth mostly. So they kind of boil. Yeah. So this is. I think you do it this way. Well. I, I would imagine if just in what I know is um, the leeks are going to cook down. So, yes, we are going on our cruise, what, in two weeks? Yeah. So, we basically, well, a week and a half, actually. Not yeah, even a week and a half. Not even a week and a half. Yeah, we leave, we leave next Friday. So, we'll be gone for two weeks. Now. I've been debating, since Amy's gone this weekend, I will probably record like maybe some uh, deep dive side dishes and get into something. Maybe I'll do a biscuit deep dive and uh, something else. I'm not sure. But we'll get, I'll try and get two episodes in the can. But Next week? No, this weekend. So. I don't want Ping to be deprived of not having us for two weeks, for sure. Um, you know, don't go. I don't want anybody going through withdrawals. All right, well, we're doing. We're waiting for that to do its thing. I am going to start peeling the potatoes. Um, make sure you don't cut your fingers off or peel the skin off. Again, I, I'm not sure what is going on. Do we normally have some other sounds going on that it's eerily quiet in this house when we do this show? I guess the TV is usually on for one of us watching while we're Or music yeah, or yeah. Maybe Maybe I should include a laugh track for you. You can just press the button every so often. <laughs> or a sad trombone. Ooh, honey butter. Ooh, you know, I can make honey butter and have ooh, with chili honey butter with. With Chili honey butter is the best. With flour tortillas, get out of town. That is so good. It's like, mm, it's really good. So we had, I made butter chicken last night for a crowd. I don't know, did, how was it today? Did you eat it today? Uh -huh. How was it? I salted it quite a bit. Was it better? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you salt it? A little bit. There's a little bit of that. I mean, but it's not a ton. But maybe we need to do more. Joke last night that we need to figure out the missing ingredient. And I said it's MSG. And it could be. And I honestly think it might be. It might be salt. The salt, I mean, we could. As Pam says, the flavor in it. <laughs> salt or MSG? Yeah, yeah. Which Pam, everybody? Pam Bouvier from, <laughs> from Archer. From Archer. <laughs> One of Amy's favorite shows. The the hot pad is humming. That's how quiet it is. <laughs> I'm like, what is that sound? Oh. Okay. The butter's melting. This is starting to saute. I'll add a little salt and pepper to this as well, because that helps with the the browning. Sweat the onions. Sweat. Sweat them. Are you taking the skin off? Because the recipe tells me to. I don't know. This list says to do Where it. Where the vitamins are. Is that true? No, there's vitamins throughout the whole thing. <laughs> uh. So we, Amy, I found these little frog 
um, models. I was so one of the encounters that they had was this a a modified Griffin for the D and D. Sorry to pivot back to that, but we uh, and then I was going to have the, come across these very nice like tribesmen in this jungle, but then I found the model of these like basically tribesmen, but they're frogs, and they are amazing and Amy painted them and they are so cute and oh my god are you getting the one with the basket on her head or the one with the staff what is your I know I asked this last week but anybody who wasn't here last week or on Saturday, what is your what is your favorite soups out there? And if you told me, tell me again. Let's see. Let's see. Do you want me to hold it, or you got it? Hold his tongue out. He's great. He's great. As my brother Terry would say, and Tony the Tiger, but. He also thinks he's going to be the new Tony the Tiger, so I keep telling him I don't think that's how it works. But if they ever have a national contest, he might be in the running. So, anyways, I'm keeping the potatoes. I'm I'm a keeping the potato skins <laughs> as well because okay. it, they'll be good flavor enhancer for the broth. So, for what broth? That you make? Yeah, I'm going to make vegetable broth. That I could also do, and that's also delicious. He made cream of mushroom soup. Oh, that! Oh, that's your favorite soup. Mm. One of your favorite soups? Yes. Well, you missed out, Andrea, because last this last. Okay. Oh, we I gotta put. This doesn't seem like enough butter to mix. Yeah, more butter. Yeah, get it together. Add more butter. Distribute the butter so it melts faster. Oh, I'm really ready for this week to be over. We have to work. You notice we'll have to work this whole week, unless unless it, unless we have to take a boat to work and they don't cancel our this work week. Home. Yeah. No, I'm not working on Friday. I'm going no. to that conference. Okay. Well, Denise and I have to work a full week. Ugh. Whatever. You work two days a week. From home. Yes, it does. I worked, I worked and baked non bread, a made non bread and butter chicken yesterday while I was working. And I made peppermint ice cream. What's in the refrigerator? Or in the freezer. So I'm just going to mince this down. So, ooh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Andrea. Suckers. Yeah. Oh. What was that thing you learned at the counselor's conference that you, that person told you that basically you have to start telling people that the be kind posters while well, so yeah. I joked about because apparently this Chris in the classroom he's a speaker he was a speaker at um, oh <laughs> apparently Amy's getting a phone call anyways I don't know who she's talking to but not any of the important people yeah. Oh, I know. Well, Ping, I haven't had I haven't had a uh, person in the position I just had. Basically, I had somebody in there for one month in October, but before that, it, I mean, basically nine months, I haven't had a person to do this position, and it's been being done badly by me because basically, I don't know. It's really, I really need to get caught up, and I'm tired of being stressed. Was stressed all the time, so. I'm kind of just doing these in uniform about, I don't know, yay big, about maybe half an inch to three quarters of an inch. 
So I'm just quartering it, cutting it, holding it down, cutting it in half. These are four medium largest potatoes. Again, I want them to be um, uniform so they cook evenly. So, do you guys make soups often, or do you more likely buy them? So, yeah, I really like a good war. I'm, one of the things I'm le gonna learn to make is war wonton soup. Because that, so we have a, um, a place near us called Fortune Palace. They, their broth is, is like medicine. It, it's so good. Whenever I'm sick, that's what I want. So, Piper really sometimes gets confused when Amy is talking on the phone. <laughs> so. Our, our little boy is not so little. He's um, 48 pounds or something like that now. Well, it's it's not, I mean, yes, I'm trying to do a good job, but we have the position open and it's just been, I, I, failed, I failed searches three times before I finally got somebody in that looks like they want to stick around longer than a month. So, and I, again, I hold no ill will towards the person who left. I mean, he had to, he had what he had some requirements, and full remote was one of them. And we couldn't offer that, but I tell you, it's just. Luckily, when you work in public education in a college, sometimes the timelines are not as um, strict as pri private industry. So you know, and most people are most people are understanding of your plight if you talk to them. So I. Soups are one of those things that you like they are worth it in the end, but man, there's so much prep. Okay, cool. So these are not going to get as soft and transparent. Well yeah, they're very popular. That was Katie. She was checking Ooh. to see how my job hunt is going. Oh. That was nice. That is nice. I was telling you about the war wonton soup at uh, Fortune Palace. Okay, so did you did you guys finish talking about the just in the classroom thing? Uh, no, because well, Andrea just said that she missed the reviews about it. And what I heard was she liked it, though. Oh yeah, so he really, my principal really liked. Uh, yeah, the like take down the. The be kind and all of that, all those posters and all of that, and we need to be teaching kids resilience and that not everyone is going to be kind to you. And how are you going to react to that? And how can you react to that? And and teaching that. Um, I I watched a little clip of him because I wanted to get a feel for kind of his message, and he was talking about um, the phrase "sticks and stones will break my bones." break my bones but words will never hurt me and he and he talked about the history of that that saying and so on and so forth and then he said so what we really need to be teaching is sticks and stones may break my bones but words don't have to hurt me yeah and that you can take res you know you can take responsibility for how things affect you and i liked that yeah i mean and, and i think i think you can leave the be kind posters up but you know, maybe when you're talking about them, be like, what they're telling you is to remind you to be kind, that not everybody has to be kind to you, right? Right. And, and, and not wanting to do something like, as the example Amy said, is like, you, know, you can't be, this person's being mean to me because I wanted to sit next to them at lunch, but they don't want to. And they say, I don't want to sit next to you. That's not being. That's okay for them to say that. Yeah, it's not they being. They don't have to sit next to you. They don't have to be your friend. And it's not being unkind. It's just, you know, them setting boundaries of things they want. So, yeah. I mean. Well, and it's the whole um, uh, entitlement piece, too. Like, yeah. everybody has to be nice to me. No, they don't. Actually, and the world isn't like that. You'll find out that a lot of people aren't nice. 
That's sad for me. I have a shirt that says be kind even to stupid people. Does that count? <laughs> <sighs> oh, Andrea. Well, and he talks about, you know, the golden rule a lot too. Like, you know, treat others the way you wish to be treated. And yes, we should do that. But with that goes, you can't expect others to always treat you the way you want to be treated. Oh, man, no. That's not their responsibility, actually. Yeah. <clears throat> so I added the potatoes and the minced garlic, and it was already starting to smell that pretty great. That smells delish. Yeah. I mean, who would have thought that? What is, is anybody, I hope everybody's seen the menu or knows it, but there's at one point where they're talking about somebody is making a leak and like shallots dish and it's like or garlic leeks and garlic and it with and the the Ray Fine's character is like revolutionary <laughs> allium and butter <laughs> you know and it's like it's true but you know it's a staple in cuisine a lot of cuisine for a reason I mean obviously so I found out that this is French in origin this soup so I think I knew that yeah really good I love I we we ate the I sent Denise home with soup on Saturday and son of the salmon and then we she ate, you ate yours the next day right yeah. and Amy and I were saving it we we're gonna save it and then we had uh, we had we didn't feel like cooking so yeah so I heated up the soup and we ate uh, oh, fried egg sandwiches fried egg sandwiches on the bread oh. it was like eggs on toast and I put cheese on Amy's but oh my god Yes, I really love. You could do that again tonight. Oh, yeah, I'm okay. gonna. I think I might. <laughs> so. A little, have a little cheese. You do, but not all the time. So. Speak for yourself. Yeah, I know. I'm. I'm going to. <laughs> okay. So. This life. Cheese. That cheese. smells so good. Yeah. So when I remember, do you remember a book, a uh, kid's book? It was a Disney, but it was the Stone Soup with Donald that is Duck. It's not Disney. That no, no, I'm just folk tale. It is, but the like, one I had was it was a Disney book that talked about it. Was, but anyways, that's how I like I I ate soup obviously before that, but the concept of like what goes into a soup and like I always liked that story because a there was trickery involved and b um, we got soup at the end of it, and so you know, there's many, many version, uh, cultural versions yeah. of that story, and yeah. one of them is bone button borscht. Ooh! <laughs> I just love the one. I remember it like, vividly because it's like, mm, we need. Do you have any turnips or whatever? And it's just like continuing to bring it, and all of a sudden at the end, it's like, oh, that soup, the stone soup is so good. Yeah. <laughs> they tricked the person into bringing it, so. Okay, so this is about two minutes in. I got about a minute to go, and then I'm gonna pour this in. And then it's gonna come up to a boil. And while we do that, we'll make a cocktail and have some more conversation. See, stone soup, I'm so glad you brought that up because stone soup is one of those things that, like, because we have all these nutrition policies in school, blah, blah, blah. Like, it, I just remember when I first started teaching how much I cooked with the kids. I made ice cream or, or we, we had made ice, ice cream yeah. with them, we made pancakes. Yeah. To learn like how to write a recipe in steps. Yeah. Um, yeah, we did all kind of, and like I know teachers who made stone soup. Yeah. And they like you know assigned every kid something: bring an onion, bring a carrot, bring a this, bring a that, and they made stone soup. Yeah. And we, I remember when I was little in oh, in daycare, we made green eggs and ham. Yeah those things that's yeah. what you know sometimes when you're not going to a public school that has all the regulations you, you can do some of that stuff yeah that brings stories to life like that yeah and i think like i think there's got to be a middle ground to be like if you prepare for it and you make sure that there are no dietary restrictions or allergies or anything like that then like and you get, I mean, even if you had to, like, send a permission slip home, I don't know. 
And there's got to be a compromise there somewhere, too. And there probably is. I mean, you probably could still. But that's a lot of hoop jumping. Sure. Well, you know. <sighs> the good old days when we did. <laughs> when we just taught kids. Now everybody is allergic to something. Well, I I'm not allergic. To all kinds of stuff, like bringing in different. Oh, I I took my first graders to the El Dorado Hotel and Casino for Chinese New Year, and they got a tour of the kitchen and the restaurant, and they wrapped egg rolls, and then the staff took the egg rolls to the back, and I'm pretty sure they threw them away, and they brought fresh <laughs> cooked egg rolls that didn't have little kids. Oh, and they were delicious. And they made us fried rice. Sorry, what are you doing? Two ounces of rum. I'm feeling nostalgic tonight, apparently. Yeah. One ounce uh, pineapple juice. Oh, but I always, after that, I always, not always. But for many years, I made fried rice yeah. for the kids. I remember I would take that big skillet in. Yeah. Uh, one uh, a quart, um, Andrea says she and Carol used to do a heritage lunch. Half ounce of lemon juice, or if you have lime juice, use lime juice. And do you ever have any food-related educational things? I mean, I think, but I don't remember things like that. I don't know why. Somebody will have to put, bring it up, and then I'm like, oh, yeah, I don't know that. Um, I mean, I have had seal meat, and I think I had some at school, yes, but I don't think it was like in high school. Um, what else do we have? They, oh, I, well, I did food demonstration for a project in high school, and I made salmon patties. That is a that is a memory that just came out of the <laughs> depths of my brain, everyone. Holy moly! <laughs> Made salmon patties. I never had a salmon patty. Yeah. Well, you usually make them out of humpies, so. And humpies are not They're, good. Well, that's why you made salmon patties out of them because you made uh, so okay. much other stuff with them, so. When I was in elementary school, we used to walk to Dairy Queen. Oh, wow. And then when you were in college, you got your friend to take you to Dairy Queen, and then you ordered whatever you want and admitted you only had a dollar. So to this day, when we asked Andrew <laughs> if she got the money, she just goes, I got a dollar. <laughs> Does anybody else have a friend like that? that? When you take them somewhere, they typically only have a dollar, or I'm sorry, I forgot my wallet. And... <laughs> Which was odd because she was gainfully employed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know what? I thought he said sandbags. He said salmon bags. <laughs> that would be weird if a culinary demonstration was sandbags. Not even sand dabs. Or some sort of thing. Dairy Queen life comes full circle. <laughs> Well, no egg and a little cinnamon, which oh, is what. Ew. This is good cinnamon. We don't. This is good cinnamon. Oh, it is. Yeah. You refilled the jar. Yeah. I'm not lying. You don't know. When he is. stops moving every muscle in his face to just go, yeah. <laughs> that means he's lying. You don't know me. <laughs> No. Oh but no! You have your third eye. My third eye is out. So I, I'm feeling. Uh, yeah, it always that always happens. Um, I don't know why. Sometimes I'll come home and I'm like, huh. So I'm like, what's going on there? So we have we when we were in the Caribbean last year, we were at some sort of resort, and they brought us <laughs> rum punches, and I'm pretty sure. I mean, they were boozy, like. They were gasoline. <laughs> yeah. But that was the color they were, so. Which place was that? That's the one where we went to the beach. 
Well, we went to the beach more than once. Where's, where, that's where we had that. where we had conch fritters. We did. That's the one where, no, no. It wasn't the one where we sat and they had like the soccer game and the big bar. It was the one that was more um, sparse. We went to there and they had that little, and then you, you went to the restaurant and then you went down to the beach from there. They took oh. you down. Yeah. That was like one of the first places we went. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, and they would take you down in the, um, they would take you down in the golf cart. That's right. Okay, wait, but I have a quote that I want to share. Okay. So that first, that other one you were talking about where they had like, where we had the conch fritters. Yeah. So that is where the guy said, hold on, I saved these things. Oh, how is it, by the way? It's very good. Uh, this, so that's where the guy said, I'd like a rum punch, but I'm Scottish, so make it strong. <laughs> that's what the guy and said? it cracked me up because they were strong. <laughs> they were real strong. <laughs> you remember... That when we went to St. Kitts, um, that is where the munitions warehouse that supplied the colonies was. Yes. And it was burnt to the ground. I remember that. I wrote, well, I don't remember. I wrote it down. I also wrote down this question. Why is China so interested in Grenada? I think we've talked about this before. Oh, that's right, because they were doing a bunch of renovations and investing money and stuff, right? Yeah. It was in Barbados where we had the country. Yeah. We bought bracelets. Yeah. We bought bracelets, Andrea, and I never gave you yours. Uh-huh. Anyway. Not plural. Just a conch fritter. Each one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he ordered a platter, and we each got one. We're like, this is not a platter. Well, and you know, it's, it's funny lunch. because Lino, Lino just talked and talked about these conch fritters the whole time before we got there, and before we got someplace that had them. And you know, they're good, but I would have liked more. And they came in a. What's that little boat, right? Like oh, that tastes exactly how boat. I remember. Mm. Those are really, really good. What does your relative call them? It's going to come to you, though. Is it something racist? Probably no, it's like a... Just kidding. No spill or something. I'm doing this to separate the mix of these in. Yeah. It's a boat. I call it, you know, like a, that's what we called it. That's not what they call it. Oh, okay. Well. He's a jerk. He was, I think he was expecting a lot more. You gave him a ration of shit, and so he went much more. He did. That's true. <laughs> then we each pretty much had our own. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Container of them. So this, I'm going to put the lid on this, and this is going to pull up. It's going to simmer. Lunch boat? No. What do they call them? They call them something. Does anybody know what those boats that you used to get the square pizzas in in elementary school are called? But what the lunch ladies call them. It's not what they're called. It's what the lunch ladies call them. Yeah. So if your mother was a lunch lady or your aunt was a lunch lady, I don't think... Your it, mother is a lunch lady. I heard it when I said it. I heard it when I said it. Don't worry. But it's one of those things that I'm like, lunch ladies... They reproduce asexually. They just uh, they, a small one pops off and it gr with a hairnet and, a, and the gloves and everything. Our lunch ladies are the cutest things on oh, the planet. Listen, at my school. when lunch when so when you, back in the 1900s, you used to be able to. They used to feed you actual food. Yeah. At, at, yeah. Yes. 
and they had a full kitchen. And I remember, like, it was, you got to go out of class 15, 20 minutes early to go help set up for lunch. And I got, I was like, really into it. I'd stir the big old pot of, like, this big a pot of hamburger. Of course and you were. This is who you were meant to be. You got to, you got to wear hairnet, which was also <laughs> amazing. You got to do wear it. But it wasn't really a hairnet, which is the interesting part. It was, it was like a paper yeah. net around it. It was like. Like really, a surgical cap? Yeah, it was almost like, like a shower cap with like paper. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yes. Like what they put on you when you have surgery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really I like, like it with the nut right Yeah, it's tasty. Yeah, this is. Hmm. But that's, that's what makes it rum punch and mm -hmm. the recipes I looked at. It's all they had. Because it. So the, from the island. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Cinnamon and nutmeg. Big, big time. Big time. Big time. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's called a book. Yes. Man, oh, these are so good. I might have another. Lisa, may I have another? They're good. Um, well, okay, well, I'll cut the bread because it's going to be part of, uh, it's, it's sort of a... That make on painkillers, yeah. Ooh. This is very similar to a painkiller. If you didn't see the bread last week, that's what it came out to look like. Hey, do you think I dirtied every dish in the house yesterday? Or I think you tried. Them? So. You definitely tried. I know, I know it's called a boat, Andrea, but that is not what the lunch ladies call it. Or not this lunch lady, at least. The lunch lady at your school? Or she didn't just call them boats, did she? Beverly? Yeah, no, it had a funny name. Yeah. Did it have boat in the name at all? I don't no. think so. It was like no spillums or, oh. you know, something that I was like, I mean, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Funny thing. I just know, I just know that it was, you got pizza in them, and the pizza used to be square and pale in color. And, uh, Delicious. Nope. Yes. The also. The best thing my high school had Chalupas? was. Nope. Undercooked chocolate chip cookies. Oh, and they were good. yeah, that's. <laughs> yeah. We no, no, a... they made these cookies. They just made these chocolate chip cookies. They're about six or eight inches in diameter and they were super thin but they were always undercooked in the middle that and french fries with cheese sauce that's the only thing amy ate pretty much except for on fridays when i went to taco bell and ate two tacos <laughs> it was a long drive to taco bell yeah i guess at that time yeah because it was down it was on. There was one. On, was there one on? Miami? He had to go to the one on Keystone. Oh, there wasn't the one up there on Miami McCarran. No, there yeah. was nothing up there. There was a McDonald's, right? Yeah. There's still a McDonald's there. Yeah, that was it. We had to go all the way down to Keystone. Well, I love. I, so this is making a lot of noise. It's not called Otis Spunkmeyer. <laughs> yes, it is called Otis, Otis Spunkmeyer. Yeah, it's Otis. Spunk. Order spunk fire. Spunk? Yeah. Let's say spunk one is. more time. <laughs> I know, right? I gotta look it up. It's spunk fire? It's, it, no, it's order spunk fire. Otis, you're right. Spunk fire. <laughs> What's going on? That's funny. <laughs> We're yes, they are. <laughs> we are children here, yeah, everybody. Since uh, I added the uh, Keystone the, Taco Bell, it's the, not even there anymore. Which one? Keystone Taco Bell, nope. that little teeny tiny building. Yeah. What? It's, oh, yeah, it's been Then it was a like a barber's. Yeah, it was a, it was, oh, yeah, it was yeah. a beauty shop. But they opened because they moved across the street, I think, didn't they? 
in, in no, that's a Burger King over there. Never mind. No, there is a Taco Bell over there now. Okay, yeah, I thought so. We had to drive all the way from Fallon to here to get Taco Bell. Well, we had to drive all the way from Kenai to Salata, and that is a treacherous drive. <laughs> you want to tell that? So, we're up in Alaska. What was from, was that, when was that? Was that from? It was when Sam was so goddamn rude to me. Okay. Sucks. Yeah, he does, apparently. But he's moved to Boulder and seems to be very much happier in life. So, anyways, uh, maybe he's maybe he's dating your sister. He might be. <laughs> anyways, we were in this taxi cab. Now I lived in Alaska. I grew up there. I drove there. I knew most about the area. Listen, just because you weren't hip to the, what they call that stretch of road. Nobody like, called it that. Well, Apparently, the cab drivers call it that. Yeah, well, they're a bunch of dirty vagrants. That you trust with your life. No, I well, do not. Well, I do. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's your mistake. I've seen Sherlock. They do have a count on that road of how many moose are killed on that road. That's true, but that's been there well before that. I mean, it was there forever. Anyways, also, I think that cab driver stole our camera. I think we... No, we left it in the bar. I don't think so. No, we did. We know that we did. How do you know? I, because I know. It doesn't matter. The Linden's? I don't know what Linden's are. The Butter Crunch and Chocolate Chip Excellent Ice Cream Sandwiches. I'm going to have to look this uh, up. Linden's. What is this? Is this, is this a, a regional? Brand? Is this is a it? regional thing? Good. That's doing its business. We got about Linden's cookies. Got to put a timer Butter for ten French minutes. Cookies. What? Yep. Those are the two that we that are the best, apparently. Never had these. Really wish I lost it in the blue. I do not know what you're talking about. But I love I love everything you're saying. Yeah, we are we are Still intently limited. thinking. There's a lot of googling going on on the other side of the camera right now, trying to figure out what the hell. Um. Yeah. Oh, sure we have a brand of this. These look very good. Let me see. I do like those. Let me see. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'd have to look, but I think I see them at the Rainbow. They have some in the Rainbow Market, or they have something like that. Look like the same pack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so funny. I totally guessed it. I was like, that looks like the same package. That has the orange yeah. and peanut butter. Those are good. Or uh, cheddar cheese and cheese peanut, and peanut butter. butter. Yep. Yeah, it cheese is. Cheese cracker, yeah. Why? Why is it so good though? I what know. is okay. Why is that so good? Because you would never eat cheese with peanut butter? <laughs> you would never you would never take cheddar cheese and dip it in peanut butter. If you have, raise you're your a hand. Psycho. <laughs> Amy says you're a psycho, but I'm interested. What is okay. It depends on how many <laughs> What is the weirdest combination of flavors that you would like? Like, that is a guilty pleasure that you eat that is like, this is, shouldn't be good together, but it is. I'd love to hear that. One time I was high, when I was high, I put, I put licorice on Pringles. I thought that was pretty damn good. Sweet and, well, that's sweet, sweet and, and salty, salty, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. It's delish. A weird food? I, I'm not really into weird. Well, I mean, it's not a weird combination because it goes together, but when, when Jessica and I discovered the jalapeno chips and, and cream cheese, whipped cream cheese. It's like a crispy jalapeno pie. It's so friggin' good. Tom's jalapeno. Yeah, it's got to be. Kettle chips. Yeah, it's got to be kettle chips. Otherwise, it's garbage. Um, I'm trying to think. Yes. I, Let me think. I mean, I'll, so I'll eat something sweet and then immediately follow it up with a spicy dill pickle. I really do. I used to really love to put uh, potato chips on sandwiches. Yeah, I did that. 
I haven't done that in a long time, but I do. Applesauce on toast? A spaghetti sandwich? Wait, Lino talked about a spaghetti sandwich, didn't he? I had a macaroni and cheese pizza before. Yeah, that's all. Awesome. That's good. Oh, good. Yeah. Applesauce on toast. I don't like applesauce. <laughs> this but is it's a basically like a not as sweet jam, right? Yeah, it's more. It's it's definitely. I think it has a more savory sort of rich flavor. It's more. I think it. Apples, applesauce. Yeah, I suppose people make apple butter, so. Yeah, I feel like applesauce is like steak and jam and things like that. It's like, those flavors are deeper and richer. Applesauce, though? Applesauce is pretty thick. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Spaghetti sandwich is yummy. Man, that's two endorsements for a spaghetti sandwich. Well, why wouldn't it be yummy? I mean, I like garlic bread with spaghetti, so if you just took garlic bread and put the spaghetti in between, that's a spaghetti sandwich. Yeah. I'm trying Ketchup to get... on tacos. No. Yes. Losers. Ketchup on tacos. That is a white person. You're so white. Have you guys ever heard the my like it's a thing online, but it's like white people taco night. <laughs> white people taco night. We're gonna make the tortillas and put it on meat. And then it's like <laughs> add salsa and add cheese and add beans. <laughs> White people taco night. White people taco night. I'm probably butchering it, but that's basically. It doesn't matter. I love ketchup on tacos. I never ate. Any weird, I, I didn't eat sour weird. cream on tacos until I met you. Delicious. It is. It is. I'm not saying it's not delicious. I'm just saying that I didn't do that. So it's like, but I grew up in small town Alaska. We do kinds of all kinds. Well, also of, sour cream is a. I guess it's expensive for a condiment. Yeah, I guess. Right? <clears throat> I don't really eat weird things. I guess they're not weird to me. What are you going to do with that? You're supposed to blend it up. Mm -hmm. Smooth? Um, it says smooth, but I'm not. It's supposed to be smooth and creamy. CNN did this thing where uh, it's Battle of the Brands. Okay. They compared like a under a hundred dollar lodge cast iron like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the uh, Le Creuset. Yeah. The retails for like two hundred and seventy dollars. Yeah. Feature to feature. Lodge wins. Even, even Steven. Really. Yep. So you better off just buying the lodge because it's yep. more affordable. Yep. Even as far as like heat retention, heat dispersion, all of it. It's cast um, iron, folks. Which one's that? Who's made that? This is a Cuisinart. But we need to replace it because it's the enamel on the inside is, is... So we need to replace it with the lodge. We do. Um, and what I want to do is I want to get one that is the lid doesn't have a... Well, it has a handle on it, but it can be that you can turn it over. The whole thing can be turned over. And like I used when I baked the bread last on Saturday... It's basically you can bake bread in the lid and it can lay flat, but it has handles on the side. So it then how do you pick the lid up? With, it has handles on the side like this. The lid has handles. Yes. Oh, I don't know if it has. Well, I'm not saying. I'm just saying. We have four oh, minutes, so everybody. Do, do, do. Why aren't you doing the finger? What finger? Oh, that one. The, the microwave doesn't have a timer. It is. I thought you were saying, though, that we had four minutes until the end of the show. No. This show goes until That's I six set. minutes. This, this, this show goes until I say it's over. You'll stay with me forever. I love you. Don't leave me. <laughs> no, it's, I do love you. But, um, Lodge doesn't have any like that. You looked at their whole catalog. That's impressive. I'm impressive. You definitely are. So get yourself one cup of cream. Get it ready because it's going in here. And then you're going to blend it. Um, yeah. Oh, wait. I lie. Okay. 
I have some cast iron I need to season. It's called a double Dutch oven. Oh. Is that like double Dutch where you like the jump rope? Five quart? Like this? Let me see. Yes, exactly like that. Lodge is only black. Well, okay. Red, blue. I don't know if the lid white, lost me. Blocky. So this is boiling away nicely. The potatoes are starting to look. Um, you want to make sure, you know. It really is a twofer. Because you basically get like a skillet. Yeah. And the lodge, you know, and the Dutch oven. Yeah. This one has also a glass lid. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you like that? How much is it? $7. Buy it! All right, let's make another, you want another cocktail? Yeah, wow. Yeah, we got a little bit of time. Why the heck not? Okay, this is what I want to know though. Does this one flip over on top of this one? It's white people talk all oh. night. I think that is hilarious. My friend Chris. He like sang that whole song and it was the funniest thing. It just kept going. And I just kept laughing like a child. Chris Ellington? Yes. But I'm a 45 year old boy, so. Boopers. Okay, so that thing does exist. You got a little bit more orange juice in this one. That was a, that was, we got. A little bit of time because I just checked the potatoes and they're still a little bit. But we're, tooth? we are going to blend them so it will help break it up and cook. But I'm still, I'm, I'm not. Ah. This is simple syrup. That's raw. Is it that color? It's raw okay. cane sugar simple syrup because that's all I. Have. I'm getting rid of all the other barware. Okay, I mean. Simplicity in this in this case is like. Best. I mean, you really prefer that little shot glass measure, and it meets all the requirements. So yeah. why keep all the other ones? Yeah. Also, I used to. So I watched a long. And I time. got you a really beautiful shaker that you ignore. What are you talking about? You don't about? like the way it seals. The, the lid does not go on easy. No. So I thought this, like you, like I've seen videos where you put it off to the side. When I was watching, I was like, why is it always splashing in my face when I'm, and so I was like, I watched the video and there's a guy, it's like, there's a YouTube channel called How to Drink <coughs> and he's awesome. And he made, the reason I found him is because he made cocktails, he asked ChatGPT to make cocktails and they made them and he was like, this is good, I would do this and this, but I mean, in general, you know, yeah. so. He had it where it was straight. He has basically one of these. He had it where it was basically straight up and down. So. Can I have your glass, please? You haven't drank it all? I also had a glass of wine over here. Oh, I didn't put the... Sorry. It's fine. It will mix when you... Yeah. Are you taking the lid all the way off? I thought you did that. Oh, never mind. I watched We Have a Ghost. When did you watch it? I don't know, but I, I did. did. With David Harbour, Harbour on Netflix? Yes. Huh? It's, it's okay. I don't hate it. It's directly in front of you. What are you looking for? The the filter. It is right in front of you. Oh, the oh, filter. The... Sorry, babe. I thought you were looking for the thing you found down in there. 
I'm crazy and I'm a little <laughs> drunk after one. I don't, you know, I don't drink very much, everybody. But it had a nice message. It wasn't that funny, though. I would not. It's listed as a comedy. It's not. It didn't make me. It made me laugh out loud. The thing about soup. And I don't know why I made that terrible segue. It's a weird segue. Yeah. Is that there is a lot of downtime if you're doing it right. But during that downtime, you know, have a dance. You know, sing have a, a kitchen dance party? Sing a song. I don't know. I think by the time you finish making this cocktail. Okay. I don't, I don't know why you're saying okay to me because I have absolutely no idea what's actually in that pot. It's boiling. It's probably ready to go. You could garnish this with an orange wheel, pineapple chunk, or a maraschino cherry. You know, all the good stuff. But I, I'm sorry. I need to loop back for a second. Yes, Who made the pot that's in front of you? Cuisinart. Oh. And the enamel's chipping off on the inside because oh. it's enamel. It's not cast iron. Well, it's cast iron underneath, but it's, it's enamel. Yeah. And it's chipping off. Yeah. Is that our fault? Is that because of the way we wash it? Maybe. I don't know. Or we use. Maybe it's just. Maybe it's just. Even like the way does that. My mom has to replace them. No, find them around. Well, and you know, if, if it can't survive the dishwasher, it doesn't live in. With the exception of my vintage bubble cocktail. And I don't put and any of the, the Pyrex. I was going to say. You spilled it. I know, whatever. Okay. It's fine. Me too. I that's what I said. It's going to be perfect. That's great. Okay. Ooh, that's hot. Cast iron retains heat, everybody. Okay, so this looks good. I think. So you mush it with the immersion and then you add the cream? No, you add the cream now. You already added the cream? Nope, I'm looking right now. Oh no, you immersion it, bring it back up, and then you add the cream. You can use half and half if you wanted to. If you wanted this more chunky, you could definitely not do this. You can step. do, or you can, you can control how much is chunky and how much is smooth and then mix it together. I think so, yeah. Is that a little chirping sleeping dog? There's lots of sleeping dogs. If we were, if we had a camera person, they would be doing some really action shots at this point, but. I can try, you want me to try? You do with you, but I'm just Ooh. saying. excited about this everybody are you watching the whirly are you watching my face I'm watching your face what is everybody else watching they're they're watching the big picture uh, I, I zoomed in but now I zoomed back out would you like me to zoom in again no Perfect. I really like that. It looks quite creamy even without the cream yeah, in there. Yeah, I'm very excited. Okay. Is this cilantro? Oh no, that's parsley. It is. Stir in the cream. Here we go. 
This is going to add to the richness of it, everybody. You That's for just what was stuck to the glass. There's not very much in here. Just put it all in. Yeah, see? It's like, what, a quarter of a cup? Yeah. Okay. So, and then, you know. Did you, have you tasted it yet? No, but I wanted to get all the regular ingredients on it, and then now I'll taste it now. Okay. Yes, probably. I did get good salt and pepper in there. But we want to let it come back up to, you know, we just had a cold, coldish grade for the whole thing, so. It smells spot, nope, not spot, spectacular. Mm. That's good. It does need salt and pepper, though. It needs, actually needs a good amount of salt. But it is. Blend. Yeah. It needs more pepper. But the base flavor is very good. It's what you would imagine potatoey and leaky. <laughs> so. Shut your mouth, Denise! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You could, I mean. Sprinkle of bacon on top. Yeah, I was going to say, you could add some sprinkle of bacon. Now, What's that soup that you do like? There is like Campbell's makes a soup that you like, the chunky that is a baked potato soup, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, or whatever it is. So I didn't, you know, there's still, I was going to, here, I don't know if you can see this, but there's still some chunks in here. So you're going to get, yeah. you're going to get good texture to it. And so we're all family here. So double dipping is allowed. <laughs> That's exactly what it needed. There you go. Exactly. I, I'm going to leave it as it is. I could even probably add a little more, but let's we'll add it when we add it to bowls. So let's let's taste this bad boy, right, baby? Heck yeah. Let's get the cat hair out of this. Perfect. Oh, perfect. <laughs> This is so you and Denise can share. I'll get you a. You got a spoon? Okay. Ooh, it's very hot, but oops, that's to be um, expected. Mmm. With toast or crusty bread, this is gonna be. This is like. A warm hug. Oh man, that's good. Mm -hmm. You know what it needs? What you say extra sharp cheddar cheese grated on the top. Delish. Amy doesn't think any meal should not have cheese on it. <clears throat> cheese is life. I mean, I just put a little extra cheese, or uh, not cheese, a little extra salt on it, and it took it really well. Dirty and slip. You wanted cheese. No. So, I have a little parsley here. You could add it to it. Um, but you could, what I would do is, you just top, topping it. But if you have if you have chives, which I couldn't find. You can also put chives on here. You could even put scallions if you really wanted to. Yeah, that'd be good. But, you know. I'm in a bowl. It's 100% that. That's what soup really does, right? What did, what did somebody say to us? It was like, soup is like a hug from the inside. I think Aaron Hinckley may have said that. I'm not 100% sure, but. Oh my God, it's so good. Mmm. Yep. Actually, the um, the parsley in it actually adds a good vegetable like freshness to it. That's good. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Well, we did it. 
I know it's a, we've been going like to eight ten. I noticed the last three episodes were like eight ten or an hour and ten, an hour and fifteen. So whatever. Thank you for sticking in. Again, don't come here on Saturday. Just this one. <laughs> Actually, we'll be on Wednesday next week as well. So. Oh yeah. There you go. We'll make sure that we have everything ready to go and all that. So. Um, we'll see you next Wednesday for sure. If you have time, please like. And if you haven't subscribed, uh, do that. Also, tell your friends. We like people. We love all of you who are here tonight. So we'd love your friends too, I'm sure. They're your friends, so they've got to be good. Unless you have that one friend you only keep around because you've been friends with them for so long. But anyways, I digress. We love you. Thank you for tuning in tonight, as always. Remember, everybody, be kind, be loyal, and do something nice for somebody next week, and we'll see you again. Bye-bye. Love you.